Alright, that camera's shaking like crazy. I got you on my toolbox. I turned it on high. That ought to be better. I'm doing my gloves. It's Welder Wednesday. We're going to weld this piece of six inch pipe and I'm going to walk you through it. What you really have to do is turn it up and jam it in there. It just goes in. If it doesn't want to go in, turn it up a little more. Turn it up. 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 Oh, yeah. We're welding the inside of the pipe. One day, I'm going to show you on film how to do it. But until then, I'm just going to talk to you. You can watch me. That's it. I already got the other side welded. Now, I'm going to use a 5 millimeter to put hot pads in. Go ahead, Jose. He's going to grind the bead out of it. Rod ought to get you from the top to the bottom. Six and a quarter. I'm just trying to get it in there and get it hot. I'm not trying to fill it up. I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. This is six inch schedule 80. We gotta weld it all together, hydro it, and then cut it all back apart. <laughs> That's crazy. Now watch, watch why I put my knee, my, I put my knee on top of my foot, so you don't have to put it on that rock. I always hated having dirty knees at work. get to the bottom you gotta step it just a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's probably here. Pass up where you're going, just keep on going, going, going. People laugh at me for using that little bit of a welding rod. That welding rod is 80 cents. I just paid $300 for a box and I burned them to the boat. Man, it's pretty out here today. be welder. Need to start practicing. If I had to do it all over again, I'd get me a piece of pipe just like I'm welding on. And I'd cut a bunch of coupons, borrow your bevel machine, whatever you needed to do. And I'd watch every video I made. And I would start putting them together every day after work, on your lunch break, whatever you gotta do. You gotta make about 500 of these. And then you'll be ready. Sounds like a lot, but it's really not. It's going to pay you a bunch of money to do it, to get started. Like I 
said, pass it up and go on the other side. When you get to the bottom, it's a little bit thinner. You're, you're not trying to fill it up right on the bottom. You're trying to just put something in it. Just get as much as you can on the bottom. If you're trying to go past it, kind of whip it past it. And when you come around the other side, you're going to whip double layer it, overlap your other bead. And you'll have as much on the bottom as you do on the top. Six. Now we're going to turn it down to five. It's a little bit lower than what we're on. And we're going to fill it up. Five. Show them what it looks like. That's the hot pass. I'm going to show you the filler. A little cold, but a little hot. You want to keep all that metal inside the bevel. Do not break those bevels down. If you do, you will have to weld more, and it'll take you more welding rods to fill it up. That means more money and more time. Burn that bevel down to the butt, telling you. Hand me another rod there, buddy. You can get back a little bit. Show them my foot. This is the trick right here. This will keep you from having sore knees. And you can do whatever you want to like that. Little tricks like that you pick up over the years makes it easier. Oh, you just fill it up. It's really simple, I mean, it's, once you get the hang of it, welding pipes, not a big deal. Uh, it is for some people, I, it was one of my gifts, because I was just kind of good at welding, I'm not trying to brag, but I've always kind of been able to do it. Now, when you get on the bottom, Instead of getting under here and welding and getting fire all over you, flip that baby over, bend that rod a little bit, and hold it back here. There's not going to be any fire on me. You learn how to weld smarter, not harder. The tip to having a pretty weld is being comfortable the whole time. I'm not bind, I'm not shaking. Just kind of soaking it in there. When I get to the bottom, I'm, I'm about dead on the bottom now. But I'm going to keep going. Don't try to fill it up right now. Everything else is full, but right here. I'm going to pass it up. Not quite full, but when I come back on the other side, I'm going to go ahead and go back over that and it'll be full. He's grinding the start. Making me a little ramp. We don't want to crack anything. Not that it, it really never had a problem with that. I'll turn it up just a little bit. Gonna do a little bit of stepping on the top, not to be confused with whipping. When you get on the sides, you can just about hold it still, move it just a little bit. It's gonna. I wish I could show you. I wish I had a camera that would do it.
you don't really want to go over close. It needs to be just a little bit. Just leave that shoulder. That's the main thing. If you start breaking that shoulder down, your cap's going to have to be real wide. And you won't know where to, you know, it, it kind of muddles the line up. I'm going to show you again on the bottom because that's the, the, the part that most people have problems with. I'd say everybody. One way to tell me, you know how to make the bottom look like the top? I said, how? He said, screw the, screw the top up too. Stepping all the way past, going back over what I did before, and I'll show you what it looks like. Now, show you the filler and then we're going to put some makeup on it. It's the filler. See how it didn't... That's what you don't want, right? Right there. See I start breaking that bevel down? Right there. You don't want to do that. You want to try to keep that bevel aligned. Turn it down just a little bit. I put a nice tall, well not tall, but a good uh, it's taller than anything else. I guess you'd say it's tall. Tall cap. Not too tall. Because I'm gonna try to weld the whole thing with one rod. I'm gonna try to put a cap on this piece of pipe with just one rod. You're going to have to step it on the top, kind of circle it, whatever you got to do to spread it out. Otherwise, it'll be all humped up and you'll burn too much metal on the top and you won't make it to the bottom. It's really close to being a rod and a piece. dead man's curve. Everybody has a problem right here at first too. You just got to do whatever you have to do to keep that metal on there. Keep it behind you. Don't let it get in front of you. If it starts getting in front of you, don't fight it. Sometimes you just got to stop, get your grinder, and fix it up. Otherwise, you'll fight it all the way to the bottom. Doesn't happen to me anymore, but I remember it used to. When you first start welding with five millimeters, I like welding with a broomstick. Alright, I'm getting where I can't really see the bottom good. Getting where I'm not comfortable. And I like to be comfortable. I went ahead and bent my rod. Got my foot on my toe. Lean against the pipe and grab that baby out here. Don't be... You don't have to hold it like this. You just, just get relaxed. get on the bottom you kind of have to step to kind of push back. And 
Right before you pull out, take a few steps past it. Get all that baby. Too much on top. It's not a big problem, it's just uh, it makes you run short at the bottom. When you get on the side, gravity will start helping you. Now, I could use two rods and pile it up there and make it look all pretty and high and tall, but that's not really the point. The point is to make a good weld fast and efficient with as little rod as possible. Go, I can finish it, but touch my neck and I get out of position. And you get to kind of where your head is in a position where fire will start getting on the back of your ear. It's just better to stop. Ooh, I think I'm gonna run out of rod. Man, I've been making it all day with one rod. Little piece. Grab me one out of the bucket. Hey, now this is a tip. You see how that flux has gone off that rod? What I'll do is I'll start and I'll let it burn off and drip off, and then I'll be into the good, and then I'll start welding. That's it guys, y'all have an awesome, awesome day, later.